Hi, it's Mallory from Total Noms, and I have a really fun and special video for you today. I'm with my grandmother, and we are making traditional Argentine empanadas. Correct. It's um, empanada for many, many years. Um, all my family are doing it, and also in Argentina. Everybody knows how to do this. Everybody's making different kind of empanadas. Yes, and I have never made them before. From no, scratch. So, so before I, you know, I <laughs> pass, you know, I pass, before I take the bucket. Exactly. Okay. Before I take the bucket, I pass this recipe to my granddaughter. I'm going to peel the uh, onions and also wash the scallions. So when it's done, I am going to chop uh, every single thing. I put it in the freezer because I don't want to dry. Okay, now I'm going to cut the, the green onions. Just the greens I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to cut the white part and the onions together. Okay, so before we go any further, I am going to clarify that this is my parents' house. This is not my house. I do not live here. Me too. And, <laughs> and neither does she. Um, but we are home for the holidays. So mm -hmm. now that we've got our ingredients prepped, we are going to make what's called the picadillo. This is the inside of the empanada. We're making a traditional beef Correct. empanada. Correct. Um, and we're just going to get started with the oven. I'm sorry, with the stove. Uh, right. We're going to, in a saucepan, we're going to get everything going and cooked before right. we put it in the wrap. First, which we are actually going to do tomorrow. Right. Yes, it's more or less uh, three quarter cups of canola oil. Okay, when the uh, oil, oil is uh, hot, we put the um, oil. And we are going to saute for around 20 minutes until it's a uh, pretty salmon. Until it's uh, caramelized? Cut. Yes, a little bit. And brown? No brown. No, no brown. brown. No brown. Yeah. And we have the regular onions and the white parts of the green onions. Correct. Here. Correct. It will a little bit of the game, but it's okay. So we're adding some spices now? Yes, yeah, oh, the paprika. Only the paprika. The spices is going to be uh, later when it's finished. So we have about a tablespoon? Yes. Wow, so the onions have really caramelized down. Uh, in this moment, you can put a little bit of uh, salt with the green onions. And this is the green parts that we had chopped right. earlier, yeah. Now, if you see that you need oil, but don't hesitate to it. You can put a quarter cup more um, oil. All right, so we're adding what makes the empanadas Correct. very special. This is just ground beef. Is it lean beef? It's a 80, 85% uh, lean. Because you need a little bit of fat. Uh, this is sirloin. Now how much meat are we adding here? It's uh, three pounds. Three pounds. And we're just adding it a little bit at a time? Yes. And this moment we're going to um, seasoning. This is a young taste. So you got some salt there? Salt. You can do it. <laughs> Here, I got it. <laughs> Go ahead. And this is cumin. Nice tablespoon? Yes. And also, again, as you own taste. Okay, and this moment I'm going to put some red pepper. 
receta, right? Mm -hmm. It's also, again, again, is a young taste. Some people like it hot, some people don't. We're just going to start chopping up some hard-boiled eggs. Okay. okay, the meat is done, so I'm going to add the eggs. I don't know if I tell you that we put some raisins in this. Not for me. I know, I know. This, um, but it's delicious with eggs, with um, with raisins and olives. So it's that. So tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow we'll fill the empanadas. Yes. And we will put them in the oven. We and we'll show you how we do it tomorrow. Wonderful. Okay. Okay, we're back and we have finished our picadillo yesterday and it's all chilled now so we are going to actually make the empanadas and stuff them and do the special folding that I only really you know how to do the best. <laughs> oh, so you will do that. Hopefully Good. I can learn. Mm -hmm. um, so let's get started. Okay. So we're going to start by putting the picadillo or the filling inside of the disco which is the, the dough that we use to make the empanadas. And it looks like we're putting about a quarter or third of a cup. Right. Of picadillo inside. Right. Also, you can put uh, the olives. Oh, okay. So in our family, we like to have um, what are these called? Manzanilla. No, I'm just yeah, Spanish yeah, olives. Spanish olives. We like to have one in each of our empanadas, and a few of the crazier members of our family like to have raisins in theirs, which I'm not a big fan of. So we just put one in each little... Oops. And what you're doing is putting some water around the edges? Yes. And we're just using store-bought uh, discos, um, which you can get at really any grocery store now. Goya. Goya right. brand is what we prefer. Or La Salteña. Um, you can put some raisins. Okay. Oh. Oh, you know what? You can fold it up and close it. All right, I'll do the ones without raisins. No, we'll let's do this for you. For all you do okay, we're doing all raisins. And so we do the same thing there. And how many are you putting in? They call repulgue, what I do to my mom. Okay, so now you're going to show me how to do the repulgue, which is how yes. you fold. Correct. Okay, so first things first. We're just going to press it together, press the two sides together. Okay, so first we pick it up and then what? Yes. I am left handed. Okay, I'm right handed. I do this. Okay. And again. <laughs> well, it's already not looking as good as okay. yours. No, it's okay. You're Even folding it over. You fold, yes. Now can you tell which one is mine? I don't know if you can see which one looks the best, but we can probably see I have a lot to learn. This one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna keep wrapping up these and then we'll get to the baking. Correct. All right. Okay, so our empanadas are done and all we have left to do is to coat them with some egg whites or some, some scrambled egg that we have here. And what do we have? Some sugar here? It dies for the people who knows what is good for <laughs> I think that's people who also like the raisins. I don't know. Correct, correct. Well, there's a lot of different ways to make an empanada. We actually have three different kinds here. Ones with, ra with raisins, without raisins, and we actually have some spinach ones too. Yeah. This um, is why the difference of things. Yes, and we have the different different repulgues for each one, correct? Yes. Right. And then we're gonna bake these for about 30 to 35 minutes. Yes, until this. Until it's golden brown. And what temperature? 375? 375. Great. Alright, we're gonna take them out. Okay. 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 Okay.
They're delicious. Delicious. Muy rico. Thank you so much for teaching me how to make them today okay. and yesterday. They don't need me anymore. <laughs> That's true. We got the recipe out of it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. I go to die soon after I keep my recipe. <laughs>